Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is actually going to be a Zara haul and some of the pieces featured were actually in my Come Shopping With Me video a couple of weeks ago so I'll leave that link down below and in a card up above because that's actually the first Come Shopping With Me I've ever done and I definitely want to make a few more because it made me go into changing rooms and try stuff on as well as like actually browsing for what I wanted as well so I kind of justified my purchases a little bit more which meant that I maybe spent a little bit less and then went in a few days later and bought even more stuff but either way I wanted to share with you what I picked up from Zara because as always their autumn collection is so great and there's some really really good pieces in there that I couldn't wait to share with you so I'm gonna go through the rail but starting with accessories as I always do so I actually picked up one pair of boots and a headband which is the only two accessories that I got this time around but they are both equally fab so first up we're gonna start with the boots which is the first thing I saw when I went into the Oxford Street Zara and first thing that I picked up because I just love them so much so these were actually 30 pounds as opposed to like 80 to 100 and to be honest I think the only reason for that is because they are the faux leather instead of being real leather which to me isn't really an issue because I feel like where these are quite classic plain black boots I'm probably going to replace them next year anyway and I'm probably going to wear them to death this season so I feel like they're going to need a replacement so it doesn't really matter either way or they can surprise me and last me forever so I picked up these and I really like them they're kind of like the classic boot style but they're almost like a sock around the ankle which I really liked the zip is at the back so it's quite hidden they were the first purchase and to be honest they're the perfect basic black boots that I could ask for I just love them I think they're really great and then for the headband I actually picked up this one which has featured a couple of times on my Instagram already because I've already obviously worn it I love it so much and this is actually a plaited velvet headband which to be honest reminds me of the Tudors like I'm gonna pop it on now for you and just wear it for the rest of the video because I feel like it's just really cute and as I shot with my photographer earlier she said to me she loves them as well but they are the kind of headband that looks great from the side but as soon as you're at the front it's like hello I'm a Tudor and <laughs> that's exactly how I feel about them but I think this headband was around £10 I'm not 100% sure but I really like it I've worn it a few times already and I think it's just the perfect like winter accessory and I really want to go back and get the pink velvet versions they had like a kind of just velvet headband like it wasn't plaited or anything it was just pink and it was really really cute so I think I'm gonna go back and get another but for now I'm obsessed with this one and then moving on to the clothes I have quite a selection and it's all fairly cheap like I was actually quite surprised at how little I managed to spend on this little collection and I'm gonna start with this which is my favorite top of this season so far out of everything I've bought or been gifted or collected this is by far my favorite so it's just this really nice <laughs> slightly Tudor-esque now I think about it top which has the really nice puff sleeves which have actually got a slit on the side so it looks really like big and flouncy but it's also got the slit and then it's just a really nice deep V super comfortable really easy to wear I've worn this with leather shorts and it looked great with jeans with skirts like various different things and it's just a really nice flattering top great ode to the puff sleeve trend and it's just a, definitely a basic that I'm going to keep bringing out time and time again then we have this which I am betting is going to be these are a dress of autumn and winter. So this was on a rail towards the tills and it was with quite a few other like color and print ways. So there was a light blue one with a navy print on it. There was like a black one with florals. There was a light one with florals. There was spotted ones. Like there was literally so many styles and given the popularity of the white spotted dress from last season, I think this is going to be a winner as well. I've already seen it quite a few times online and I've also been asked a million and one times when I featured it on my stories. So I know it's gonna be a winner. Um, but this is obviously just a floral midi dress because it comes slightly longer than a midi but not quite a maxi so like if you wear an ankle boot and stuff you can still see a bit of your ankle above the boot if that makes any sense but I really like this I think the black print is gorgeous and for me this is the kind of dress that I can wear in the autumn with thermals underneath and no one's gonna know I'm wearing thermals but I'm super cozy and I look good as well and also I just really like it. It's the perfect dress if you want to go out for dinner and you want to eat a lot. It's great for casual days because it's really nice and floaty and it just feels like you're wearing a dressing gown. Like, I love this. I'm already an absolute winner. Then moving on, we actually got a pair of jeans, which I've not owned Zara denim jeans before, but if you remember my haul from the summer, I've actually had quite a few pairs of shorts from them, which I really, really liked. They were £20, super affordable, and honestly the best shorts that I had this year. So I thought I would try a few pairs of the jeans. So I picked up two different styles. Um, so this is the first style, which is just a ripped knee, distressed, what have they called this? The classic mum fit high rise ankle length. So I actually got these in a 34, which is a six, because I'm kind of between a six and an eight, depending on where I shop. And I thought these looked quite wide, like they look like they're gonna fit perfectly. So couldn't resist getting my hands on these. And I love the wash of them. I love that they're kind of a bit slimmer leg, because I, as much as I like skinny jeans, I kind of like, 
the mum fit as well because I think it's just a bit more forgiving and it also looks really great with like a tight vest top or cami or whatever on the top and these were only £25 which is an absolute bargain for jeans and then I also picked up these ones which I did try and get in the faded black as well but they didn't have my size in um, again in the 34 but I have a story for these so these are in a 34 and they were £25.99 as well so these are just the super high rise and they're like a slim leg so they're not mum fit but they are like a slim leg denim as you can see I turn up the hems on every single pair of trousers and every jumper and everything I own like literally look at this this has turned up like the oh, it's a, it's a habit okay so these are actually in the same size but as you can see they're quite a bit smaller bought the size 8 and they are massively too big so I've ended up thinking that I might just take back both or wear the 8 and try and shrink them because I think if you have bigger jeans around the waist you can kind of tie them in with a belt and just make them look a bit more like they're meant to be oversized whereas obviously too tight is just too tight and uncomfortable so yeah definitely not consistent on the sizing but I'm on the hunt at the moment for like a off-white slash pure white denim pair of jeans like that because I've got some from and other stories which are like a really nice cream and I really want like a lighter version or like a skinnier version so definitely on the hunt for those but honestly Zara denim I've heard so much about in the past and I'm definitely sold I am absolutely investing in more I'm just going to show you these now because I feel like I'm talking about denim I might as well continue to talk about denim so I picked up these shorts because as you know I talk about it all the time I'm going to Disney next week and I really wanted some shorts that I could take with me that were just like normal denim shorts because I've got black ones I've got white ones I've got ripped blue ones but I don't have any like just plain blue ones so I picked these up again 34 mum fit high rise and these were 19.99 which is stupidly good price for a pair of denim shorts and I really like them just classic really easy breezy denim shorts shorts they do also have black and I think white but I can't remember not very autumn appropriate but I got shorts because I needed them then moving on I picked up a jumper because I'm in need of just a plain white basic jumper and I thought I would try Zara because their knitwear is great and they always seem to do really great just plain jumpers so this was actually 25 so this was actually 29.99 and I got it in a small which is as you can see quite large if it wasn't this oversized, I think I would have gone for a medium because I like a really chunky oversized fit. The only thing I will say about this is it is slightly scratchy. So I'm hoping when I wash it, it's not scratchy anymore. But for right now, the neck is a little bit itchy. I'm not going to fault it other than the fact it's slightly scratchy. I just really like it. And they also had it in like a really nice pistachio green colour that I think I'm going to go back for because I think light greens and like sagey like pistachio colours at the moment are everywhere and I think that a sagey one would be really nice with like leather trousers or just black jeans or something whereas that one's obviously great with like blue jeans or black jeans or whatever just nice to have a bit of a colour variation you know and then moving on I saw these and I picked them up because I thought they were quite cute but I don't know how they're going to look on I'm yet to try them but it's just these trousers which come with a little belt around which to be honest I think I'll probably take off because I'm not a massive fan of the belt but these were $29.99 and they're just kind of like I don't even know how you describe them because they're kind of like peg leg but they're not so they're a high waist which is obviously like fitted but then they've got these little like elasticated cuffs which are only elasticated at the back because I thought they might be really cute with like this kind of like high neck top or like a little black t-shirt or a jumper tucked in or something I don't really know but I thought I'd give them a go I really liked the tartan I think it's really nice to have like the neutral and black tartan because to be honest I'm not a massive colour wearer so for me to have like a neutral and black check is perfect because it means that I'm not going into colours but I can wear a different colour trend than I'm used to. <laughs> then next up we have this puff sleeve number which is very similar to the one I showed you at the beginning of the video but this is a tight fit kind of t-shirt version so it's a really nice ribbed jersey again deep V and I just love the little puff sleeves on this slightly off white as well so it's great for wearing with like white denim or whatever you feel like you want to wear it with to be honest you could wear this with these and it would look really cute together I think or again like with jeans or something it's just a really easy top to style up and like I said with the first one really great change to a classic white t-shirt because I'm a sucker like I think most women are for wearing like just plain t-shirts and sometimes it gets a bit boring and a bit repetitive so it's nice to just mix it up in your wardrobe and get something really similar but not too far out of your comfort zone so it's still a white t-shirt but with a twist then we have something which is so far out of my comfort zone but basically Sam and I have a very like fancy event next week and it needed me to have a cocktail dress which I do not own I am not a cocktail person I am not a fancy dressy person it's just not I just feel so uncomfortable dressing up and I don't know why I was always like a massive tomboy growing up I was always in big baggy jeans and like just plain t-shirts I was always the one that was running around with like mud all over me like that was just me as a 
kid. Like I wasn't a girly girl. I had trainers that I wore every single day instead of like ballet shoes and stuff. Like I just wasn't a girly girl. So for me, this is very out of my comfort zone, but I want to love it and I want to have one fancy dress. But I decided that it was about time I had one fancy dress in my wardrobe that I could pull out every year on repeat for those fancy Christmas events or like bougie little dinners that you need a cocktail dress for. And I would just have one and one will last me. So I picked up this one, which was 79.99, so slightly on the pricier end of the range, but it's really cute. So it's just got little puff sleeves. It's this really gorgeous satin fabric and it's kind of like a blazer style. So it crosses over at the front. It's got a really lovely neckline and then it's got this gigantic bow which I wish I hadn't tried on before this video because the bow looked a lot nicer before I tried to retie it and now it looks a bit questionable but Sam's really good at tying bows and stuff so I'm hoping that he can kind of save this when I come to wearing it but I kind of had the vision of wearing it with these ASOS boots which were actually in my last ASOS haul and they're just really classic black boots with the gold detailing so that with this with a really nice clutch bag I think will be great because it I just can't wear heels like I'm just not a heels person they don't fit on my feet they don't stay on my feet I've got really like slim narrow this this is a whole spiel you don't need to know but basically I can't wear heels so this dress with the boots will I think look quite feminine without being like too feminine which I think is perfect for me because where I'm not being like too girly girl but I'm still within my comfort zone yeah that is basically everything that I have got from Zara recently. If you did want to check out the Come Shopping With Me, I'll leave it in a link down below. And also, if you want me to do more of them, let me know. Because I loved filming that. And I definitely think I can make it like a seasonal thing. If not like every couple of weeks I film one for different shops or something. I don't know. I really enjoy filming it. So I know that I'm going to do more of them. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.